Hello students and welcome to the Applied Learning Center's TIP Database Mini Workshop. In the next few minutes, we will cover the basics of how to use the TIP Database. On the screen, you can see the login screen. To log into TIP, you will need your 900 number and a password. Your starting password is likely the word password in all lowercase letters. We will use a sample student for this login. The first place you should go when you log into TIP the first time is the My Account tab in the upper left hand corner. Hover over My Account. A drop down list will appear. Click on My Profile. This section contains all of your contact and degree specific information, such as major and expected graduation date. This is where you change your password. Please change your password the first time you log in to protect your information. Click on the word Edit, highlighted in blue and then type in and confirm your new password. Also in this section is a link to the guidelines and agreements form for this office. This is for your reference. Now hover over my account again and click on my documents. This is the area where you upload any application materials you need to apply for positions through TIP. You may upload multiple materials into each category. We recommend, at a minimum, one resume per area of focus and one cover letter per position for which you intend to apply. This system will allow you to submit these materials to specific employers, which we will show you how to do in a minute, but they are not searchable or viewable anyone other than you and the staff of the Applied Learning Center. To upload a document, click on the words Upload File, highlighted in blue. Choose a name for the document, such as Management Resume or Employer Relations Cover Letter, and then click on Browse to find the document on your computer or flash drive. Click Upload to add the document to TIP. To make sure the right materials get to the right employers, upload a new cover letter for each position and do not delete the old ones. You may delete all old materials before beginning a new round of applications when you are sure none of the previous ones have panned out. Also under My Account is My Connections. This allows you access to the private website internships.com and My Activity, which we will discuss more in a moment. Now hover over the Search tab. This is where the positions are posted. Click on Internship Search. The system is set up to automatically filter positions by major and occasionally by GPA requirement. This means that you will only see positions posted for your major and minor. Leave the position ID line blank and click search. This will give you the full list of open opportunities in your major and minor if you have one. This first page will give you the basic information about each position. Position title, company name, whether it's paid or unpaid, and the location. For detailed information on any position and to apply, click on the position title. This detailed page will give you a position description, a list of qualifications, and instructions on how to apply, among other things. Always read these carefully and peruse the company website prior to preparing your application materials. Some positions will require you to apply through the company or government agency's website. If this is the case, we will provide you the information on how to find the position. The remaining positions will ask you to use TIP to apply. Once you have read the position description, researched the company, and written and uploaded your materials, return to the position posting in TIP. If the right materials are already uploaded, a Submit Resume button will show up at the top of the position description page. Click on it. A new window will open with a place for you to write a basic message. We recommend you include a greeting, a few sentences about what you are applying for and why, and your name. Once you have done this, click on the words Select Documents, highlighted in purple. A new window will open with drop-down lists available in each category in which you have uploaded documents. Choose the appropriate materials for the categories marked with a red dot, which indicates a required category. Click Save. Double check your message, and then click Submit. Once you have applied for the position, you can return to the My Account tab 
and click on My Activity to track positions as you apply for them. The Referral tab contains a list of all of the positions you applied for through TIP and will allow you to see the position description even after the position has closed on TIP. My Account also has tabs to track your job agents, which we'll discuss next, and internship records, which will be created for each position you take. Now for a few side issues. Return to the main search page. Highlighted in blue, over to the right side of it, are the words Email Me New Internships. If you click here, a new window pops up and you can name and save a job agent. This will tell the system to email any new positions to your school account. Lastly, from any page you can access several resources provided by TIP. On the left hand side of the page, you will see a link to the calendar, which contains upcoming events. The resources library, which contains sample resumes and cover letters, information on interviewing, and downloaded applications for the few organizations that require them. And the My Favorites folder, which you can use to save positions to apply to at a later time. These are the basics of using TIP. If at any time you have questions, please give us a call and don't forget to sign out.